Now, I'm not going to sugarcoat this. Alcohol is a drug. It's a highly addictive drug. There are no ifs, there are no buts. It's not different, it's not special. It's a highly addictive drug that if you drink too much of it, it will kill you. There is no doubt about that. However, there is a point in an individual's life or a drinker's life where they must stop drinking. For different people, that happens at different points. And I'm going to break it down for you in this video because you need to know this. If you are drinking and you're even considering stopping, you must know the information that I'm going to share with you in this video. Because once you realize this, it's going to shortcut your journey, right? Rather than doing 20, 30, 40 years of drinking, we can just compress that into a shorter period of time and then get on with things. Because once we remove alcohol, that's when everything gets better. That's when the health gets better. The weight starts falling off. The businesses start exploding. The marriages start flourishing. The, the family life just, it improves exponentially. Everything gets better as a result of not drinking alcohol because alcohol does nothing for us. It's a drug. It's a highly addictive drug and it's doing nothing for you. Just before we actually get into this, if you want to learn how to control your drinking using first principles thinking, make sure to click the link in the description. There's a short training video that you can watch that explains how to break things down from first principles, as well as some of the major mistakes that people make when they're trying to stop drinking. So if you want to learn more about controlling your drinking, click the link in the description to get access to that video training. But back to what I was saying about alcohol. Now, the reason why people drink alcohol or the reason why people take any drug for that matter is because they perceive to get a benefit from doing it. They think that it helps them in some shape or form. Be that relaxing after a hard day of work, be that to help them socialize with a friend, lubricate them when they're on a date. They do it because they think that there's a benefit from their taste buds, right? They might have better sex. There, there are a million different reasons why people choose to drink alcohol. But the underlying theme of it all is they think that they are getting a benefit from doing it. Something positive is happening as a result of consuming the drug. I'm here to tell you that there is no benefit to putting a poison in your body, right? It's all perception. It's all a game of perception. Now, if we perceive a benefit, then that's as, as close to real as we're going to get, right? It doesn't actually matter if the benefit's there or not. If we perceive there to be a benefit, we're going to continue doing it. However, with alcohol is... The illusion of a benefit doesn't last very long. I mean, I can remember when I was a teenager and I'd go to parties for the first time ever, I'd get drunk. And all of a sudden, I was talking more. I was kissing girls. You know, all these interesting things started happening. So in my mind, it was all the alcohol, right? I'm thinking, oh my, this is like a superpower. And that's how it starts, right? We, and when we start this journey, when we start drinking, all that we see are benefits. We don't see any negative. Maybe we wake up the next morning with a hangover, maybe not. But whatever it is, we feel like we are genuinely getting something from this drug and nothing bad is happening. Now, the interesting thing with addiction is what kind of starts here is these great benefits. Slowly over time, everything just starts going downwards. And then what starts happening are negatives start showing up, right? The hangovers get a little bit worse. Maybe we sleep in for work one day. Maybe our kids smell the alcohol on our breath. What happens is the negatives start showing up and the benefits slowly but surely diminish until there's not much left. But the sad thing is with alcohol is we can just keep doing it despite the benefits completely disappearing and negative showing up in our life. We can keep doing it because we keep justifying to ourselves that we are getting something from doing it. It's helping us handle a difficult life. It's helping us suppress emotions. It's helping us do so many things. And if I was to remove the alcohol, then I'm somehow going to be in a worse situation. That's what we tell ourselves. And this can lead us, like any drug, it can lead us to a very bad place. Now, the whole point of this video is I want to explain to you that when the negatives start showing up, this is when you should just start questioning things, right? Because what you need to realize is alcohol is a drug, right? All that it is, is ethanol, right? It's the same stuff that can fuel a car and the hand sanitizer that you use on your hands to clean bacteria, that's the exact same stuff that you are putting in your body, right? It's ethanol. It's a poison. It does nothing for you. The idea that there's a benefit to consuming a poison is ludicrous, right? It's nothing more than drug addiction. And the quicker that you can cut that out, the quicker that you can get your health back, you can get your relationship back to where it should be, you can feel good about yourself, the confidence can start coming back. The quicker that you cut it out, the better. And I know there are going to be thousands of people watching this that are triggered right now. You don't like me saying this. Do you know what? When I was drinking, if I saw some Somebody saying this to me, I'd just, I'd hate myself. I'd be like, what are you talking about? But if you suspect the negatives are starting to happen in your life and the idea of the benefits is slowly starting to diminish, start questioning things. You don't need things to get worse, right? But when the transition has happened, when you start to see the negatives and the benefits are going down, that's when it's time to question things. And how exactly do you stop drinking? Like, what do you do? How do you make it so that you don't want to drink? How can you get rid of that obsession? Well, you must break things down from first 
principles. This means that you must break things down into its component parts. You really got to look at the drug and what you think that it gives you. You've got to do the reading. You've got to do the study. You've got to do the introspection. You've got to ask yourself, what the hell is alcohol actually doing for me? Because you'll start to see that it's doing nothing except causing pain, causing anguish, and really keeping you in a vicious cycle and stopping you from reaching your potential. Now, if you want more details on first principles thinking, click the link in the description. You definitely wanna check out that training video, but wherever you are on your journey, you have got this. I know you can do this, and I hope you have a great day.